Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can download and install Reactor for DaVinci Resolve. For those who are not familiar with the Reactor, it is a source package manager for Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. It contains many tools, scripts and other great stuff. Being able to add new plugins and effects is super helpful and what it makes it even better is that there is a third party community out there supporting this. To get started, firstly you need to come in this forum. I'm leaving a link in the description. Once you're there, you need to scroll a bit down until you find this orange rectangle button, which you will need to click and it will start downloading your reactor. It will take you just a second. After that, you can open the file folder which it contains that file and then open your DaVinci Resolve, go into your Fusion tab and simply drag and drop that file that you just got into the Fusion node panel. And once you do that, it will appear this window that you're seeing right now, which it means that it's ready to install. And obviously you need to click on the install and launch. In my case, it took me around a minute after that, so I'm gonna fast forward and do the next part, which is this one. You will see this window once it's finished. And basically these are maybe a few hundred of plugins and effects that you can download absolutely for free. And for some of them, they will recommend you to do a donation, but it's not mandatory. But I will show you what I mean just in a minute. And firstly, let's try to download something to see how it's happening. Now I'm going to pick one of these and install it to show you the process. Of course, you can download all of them, but just for example, let's make it for one of them. Let's say, for example, that we like it, this one. Which name is it? Time 3D. We select it and press install which is on the bottom right of the window. Now DaVinci is notifying us that this is installed correctly. And now when I press Control space to add a new node, I'm typing this time 3D, but it's not showing up. And this is because it needs to restart the whole DaVinci Resolve program in order to apply it. So I'm closing it down and open it again. And this time I can see that it is already there. I'm selecting it and I'm adding it to the node panel. And I want to add something else, if, if you already close this panel and you want to add something else in the future or maybe later that day, you can go to the workspace, then go to the script which is on the bottom, then select the reactor and then open reactor. And you will end up on the same window that you had when you was installing the reactor. And this time I will select multiple plugins, which like I said for some of them are suggesting a donation. So you will see this window. And you have the option to donate or not to. Like I said, it is not mandatory. And that was it. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And see you in the next one.